This is More Knowledge, More Wealth with your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Gabriel is a certified financial planner and a registered investment advisor at Falcon Wealth Planning. This show does not intend to provide personalized investment advice through this broadcast and does not represent that the services or securities discussed are suitable for any investor. Investors are advised not to rely on any information contained in the broadcast in the process of making a full informed investment decision. Now here's your host, Gabriel Shaheen. Good day, this is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and your host of Poor Knowledge, More Wealth. You're on every weekend talking about all important topics of personal finance. My job is to go over the knowledge you need to increase your wealth. Now, to the listener, you can always reach out to myself or any one of my colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short, where you can get to our knowledge center and you can get so much important information that we have posted on there that we have about a million views on in just over a year. And the topics are from what you want to talk about. So if you want us to discuss items on the show, go ahead and send it to radio at falconwp.com. That's radio at falconwp.com. And you can get this episode or any one of our previous episodes as well on podcasts, Spotify, and a bunch of other sources. Now, folks, I'm the president of Falcon Wealth Planning. We are a fee-only, non-commissioned, true fiduciary, folks. And we talk about all of our topics of personal finance. That's where you are today, how retirement looks like, taxes, investments, estate share, planning, insurance. Folks, you name it. Anything that involves a dollar sign, we can help you with. And that's why we're offering one or two meetings, one or two hours of our time, folks, at no cost to help answer the questions that you have, to help relate this show to your specific situation. Give us a call. We'll be happy to help. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, where we can help answer those questions that you may be having. Ah, that was a mouthful. That's why I had to drink some water there. So let's go over this. Had now for about three out of the four weeks, I've had some messages and I've kind of talked about it a little bit on the show, but it's about entrepreneurs. I've been hearing a lot about entrepreneurships. How do you motivate people? How do you help people in starting a business? What are the things that you need to do? I hate, And I talked kind of a little bit about it in previous episodes where you had to go over uh, certain things that you have to do that are regulatory uh, requirements and maybe certain states that are better than others to register in. And you, some of them, you have to go through agents, all that fun stuff. But I've been getting a lot just about entrepreneurs. How do you advise an entrepreneur? Now, like, let's take a massive time out. Let's just take a big step back, folks. And this term entrepreneur is starting to annoy me. Are we talking like a business owner or an entrepreneur? Okay, if you own and if you're a t-shirt selling uh, at the corner, you're a business owner. You're not an entrepreneur. And I'm not discounting those people or those who sell hot dogs or those who uh, have one restaurant. I get it. But there is a difference between a business owner and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is somebody who has a vision to grow his or her company. Galen. Knowing where they're going to be in the next five days, for 50 days, 500 days to 5,000 days, and knowing how they're going to get there, scaling it, growing it. And oh, by the way, in the process, you're going to find other needs. So your goal in 5,000 days from now is going to change. It's ever changing. You may create another company or business in the process. Once things are going and trucking along, sometimes it just takes time or money. You may want to do another business adventure. So the idea here is an entrepreneur is consistently looking at ways to grow their wealth. And they do this through business ventures. Now, this could be somebody who has a multiple real estate portfolio. And some of it they're active in, some of it it's passive, just like a, a residential property. If you own 10 of them, doesn't mean you're an entrepreneur. You just like real estate investments. It could be somebody who is looking to buy franchises. Keep in mind, franchises. An entrepreneur is not somebody who all of a sudden is retired and not wants to buy a, a Subway and work in the Subway restaurant. <laughs> the idea is to buy five of them, 10 of them. 
or own multiple different franchises where they are owner absentee. You really think they're going to go from an engineer to making a burrito? Probably not. So this is why you've seen multiple people now after they're even, we'll be specific here, their playing careers, such as Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Shaquille O'Neal, Magic Johnson, whoever, that became serial entrepreneurs. They're buying comp businesses or, or stands of, or, or Papa John's Pizza or Five Guys or Starbucks or whatever the case may be. And they are involved in that venture. You've seen that with LeBron James now, whether you like him or hate him. Here in Southern California, people are a bit split on that one. Needless to say, for someone with no college education, which is not a prerequisite to success, may I add, is somebody who's now involved in a football team in the Premier League in England, who now is part of a pizza chain like Blaze Pizza. He has been smart enough to make these moves or he owns percentages of these that give him passive income. You really think he's there flipping pizzas? I don't know if you flip a pizza. Tossing pizzas is what I'm trying to say. You get my point. So then you start now having a conversation. Well, I want to do that. You think Shaquille O'Neal spent two weeks in training for his auntie on, uh, you know, the pretzel place, auntie's pretzels in the mall? Because franchises, you have to do training two weeks long. Do you think he did the same thing for Five Guys Pizza? or AMC theater and some of the other stuff that he's been doing? Most likely not. Probably has people in-house that he sends to those. And so you build a place up or you buy a place up. A business is, is typically worth one to two times what it nets. Now, something like McDonald's could be 10x what it nets. If it nets 400,000 a year, it's probably worth 4 million. It's recession-proof business. It's always busy at a McDonald's, depending, of course, on the location. But what am I trying to say here? So on a normal business, you get one to two X return. If it nets 60,000, it's worth 60 to $120,000. That's a, up to a 50% return on your money. Depending on some have inventory or FF&E, the furnitures, fixtures, and equipment. And, you know, it could change on the sale price, but the idea is you get one to two X. That's a 50 to 100% return on a business. And most of the time you have to be involved in it. So now you have to hire somebody. So maybe let's say you hire one person to manage 10 locations on whatever it is, whether it's a mechanic store, a, a Jiffy Lube, <laughs> to a uh, Auntie Pretzels. I, I really should be looking up this name. I feel like I'm really stretching. These people hire people to run those stands, to run as a regional manager those locations of managing, not directly in there. By the way, folks, if you're just joining me, you're listening to Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, your host, More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every week and talking about all important topics in personal finance. I'm just talking to you about the people that I see on a daily basis. People are always discussing how can they enhance their situation? And they're looking to be an entrepreneur. I, and I'm just earlier on, just said there's a difference between a business owner and an entrepreneur. My dad, who people have been calling, God rest his soul, an entrepreneur, he was a business owner. He had one shoe repair store, humble bringing, upbringing. And so the idea is that that's what he did. Didn't care to grow, didn't do it. He just wanted to provide food on the table and raise good kids. And he did that, God rest his soul. So the idea, yet again, is taking a look at these individuals. And this is what an entrepreneur does, is they know you have to spend money to make money. So they pay somebody $100,000 a year, plus maybe 10% of profits of the locations that they're managing. If each, they buy each one for $200,000, let's say it nets $100,000. They have 10 of them, that's a million bucks. They pay the person $100,000 plus $100,000 of the 10% that they're netting, that leaves them with $900,000 and spending $2 million. That's almost a 50% return. Obviously, this sounds great. It sounds easy. It's not. It takes time, and it takes money, and it takes commitment, and it takes vision, and it takes direction. That's an entrepreneur, folks. So this is sometimes people want help with this. People want to say, how do I get to that level? But here's the thing. You talk to a financial advisor, somebody who wants to consult you in your financial situation, they're going to be like, hey, I manage a portfolio, your money. I manage your money, million dollars, yours. And I'm going to make a recommendation for you to withdraw $200,000 to go do something risky, quote unquote risky. Am I really going to recommend that? Now I just am managing literally, uh-oh, hit, hit here the microphone. He, I'm literally, I'm literally now taking out 
$50,000 out of the portfolio, out of a million. That's a 20% decrease. I just lost 20% of my client's assets that I can no longer make money on. Now you know why the advisors aren't making that recommendation. Now you know why people don't do it because it's a conflict of interest. Here at Falcon Wealth Planning, our goal, our focus is to increase your overall net worth. Now we're not trying to push you to go open a bunch of Quiznos. <laughs> Remember those? But we are trying to tell you that there's more to your financial situation. There's more to the chapter of the next chapter, whether it's after your current job or in retirement or early retirement, there's more to that than just your portfolio. It's about diversification. This is part of why we're offering a pre-financial assessment to give you one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time, folks, at no cost. Give us a call. We can help answer the questions that you have, whether it is businesses, whether it is real estate, whether it is just alternative to how you're currently investing. This is what we focus on. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, where we can help answer those questions that you have about the simple concept of what to do with your money and how truly the entrepreneur mindset works. At the end of the day, it takes money to make money. It's very rare you just win the lottery. A lot of it is hard work. A lot of it's mental fatigue. You might not be in the store. You might not be actually managing the properties, or I should say uh, they are fixing the properties, but passive management in real estate could sometimes take time and money. Sometimes you got to fix things up to get those higher rents. Sometimes, sometimes you got to kick out the tenant that's underpaying, take one to two months of no rental income, remodel the place. It could set you back 10 grand. Now you're able to get an extra $700 a month. Well, in just one year, that's break even. In my brain, $700 a month more is $8,400 a year. You spend $10,000 to get $8,400, that's an 84% return on your money. And oh, by the way, that's just in year one. You are in the green shortly after, 14 months out. This is the mentality you have to have. And the thing is, people just don't do it. People just don't have it. It's not innate in them. So what I am going to discuss is some of the topics that I see from, quite frankly, rich people getting richer. And I'm going to talk about the mentality of an entrepreneur. Heck, I am an entrepreneur. Now, that, that, that sounds stupid. Did I just say I hate people that overuse that? Let me back up. I'm a business owner. But for somebody who has multiple things going on, I get the mindset of these entrepreneurs. Hell, that's where I learned it. I have the best job in the world. I work with successful people every single day. That's why experience matters in this business. Because you're talking to someone, an advisor, a firm that's done it multiple times. And if you sense for a second that the person you're talking to doesn't fully understand, that is an issue. That's where you need a second opinion. And that, quite frankly, is why you should always get a second opinion. You may be able to appreciate the first opinion that you got. Folks, we're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the mindset of an entrepreneur and how this is relevant when you talk about cash flow, their business, diversification, property, and so on. Folks, we'll be right back after a few words. This is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner, your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth. That's on every weekend. We're going over all important topics of personal finance. We're going over retirement planning, making sure you're prepared for retirement, social security and strategies, real estate, taxes, avoiding them now and in the future, investments, reducing fees, commissions, and so on, insurance and estate planning. Folks, we are offering a free financial assessment that you could take advantage of. We have offices all across Southern California, including the Inland Empire. Give us a call to take advantage. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, or visit our website, falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short. Enjoy the show. We look forward to serving you. Welcome back, folks. This is Gabriel Shane, Certified Financial Planner, and your host of More Knowledge, More Wealth here on every weekend. We're talking about all important topics of personal finance, and today we're just talking about the basic concepts of what it's like to be entrepreneurs. People, I hear that often. It annoys me. I even cringe when I say it myself, but I'm trying to make a point here. And for someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, this is someone who has visions, not ideas, but visions. You know what you're doing on your first day to your fifth day, to your 50th day, to your 5,000th day, which is probably 
13 years out, 15 years out, something like that. But the idea is, you know where that's going to, where you're going to be. They have the vision. Some people call them visionaries. But what does this mean for you? You're just trying to survive. You just want to be comfortable. I get it. And a lot of people who are in sales feel like they're an entrepreneur or business owner themselves because they are in control of their own destiny. All I'm trying to say to you is, if you are looking to go down that road, the amount of commitment and just unnatural focus it takes is important because you are going to be sacrificing. This has to be something that innate in you. Some people talk about a business plan. I say the hell with the business plan. The business plan is in your gut, you knowing what you're going to do on day one. If that's you, what you're going to know what you do on day one to year nine, if you literally can see that and feel it and touch that and you can see the execution, that's somebody who should start their own business or have a goal for entrepreneurship, which remember is more than just that one location more than just that one car dealership, building something in scale. This is how you know you have the mindset of an entrepreneur. Your mindset is growth. If you don't have that, that's fine. You can have a good lifestyle. You can own one car dealership and make a million dollars a year. <laughs> it's a good life. But there's a difference between a business owner and an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur, it's funny, when they come, they have much different questions they're asking. They need help with much more different things. For example, their business is everything. It's their livelihood. That car dealership that makes a million dollars a year, net, well, they can go into a slump. They still have cars that's sitting on their lot, people they still have to pay for. They can easily lose twenty to forty to fifty to sixty thousand dollars a month. Man, that continues. That million dollars gets soaked up pretty fast. And by the way, when you net a million, you don't keep a million. You probably keep six to 700,000 after taxes. So they're always worried. I sometimes I feel the best entrepreneurs are the most pessimistic, worry war folks that are out there. I could see that being a lot of truth to that because they're always worried about what could potentially happen. I should say that business owners are the best, or the best business owners are the biggest. Uh, pessimists. <laughs> I should coin that. But it's true. And if you're a business owner, you know what I'm talking about. Because you have to consistently plan for the what-up scenarios. Because because failure is not an option. Then failing isn't just losing a job. They're losing their finances. They have liabilities. They have to pay that that uh, rent of 5000 to 50000 a month, potentially. So you have to be careful with this. Which means for a business owner, liquidity is key. They don't really care about anything that ties their money up. Most of the time, they don't even care about real estate. Why? Because it's not liquid. They sure as heck are not paying things cash. They sure as heck are not wanting, they have a dream of paying off their house because of the risk of their business. The cash is king for a business owner. A brokerage account where they can save. And when they're making a lot of money, don't get used to it yet. Save it, save it, and save it. A lot of that is, in fact, through investing. Why? Because it's liquid. They need it. They understand it. The smart and the rich business owners, you know how they get richer? They reinvest it. Heck, there are certain uh, clients that we have that, let's say, have over 100 employees, some of them over 250 employees, and they do their own insurance. Insurance, what are they designed for? To make money, right? It's the money we're only comfortable to waste. So they say to themselves, hey, if I have 250 employees paying $500 a month, Wow, that's like over $100,000 a month. 12, you know what I'm saying? $1.2 million a year. And I'm not going to be paying out that much for insurance. They've come their own insurance company. This is captive insurance. We've done that for a few people and it's extremely profitable. That's almost a form of their retirement account. They're always looking at ways to enhance their situation. So my question to you is this. Are you looking at ways to enhance your situation? Are you looking at what you, can you do? What is currently around you? at your employer, at your current situation that you can enhance. Some people don't even do a refinance on their home. They were paying 8% on their mortgage a year ago. Now they can refinance for six or six and a half and they still won't do it. That's called procrastination. Their investments, ah, it's fine. I'm in the S&P 500. That's great enough. Oh, but I don't like risk. And oh, I'm retiring next year and I can't afford to lose 40% of my money. They're just procrastinator. 
So the thought behind this whole thing is how are you looking at your situation to enhance it? The difference between rich people and those who are still trying to get there is rich people know how to get richer. They understand when it makes sense to spend money, to make money, and they're always looking way to, keyword here, enhance their situation. I'm not trying to say they're never content, but rich people know, why would I not just spend a little bit more time to make a little bit more? I'm not saying work more hours. I'm saying question the process, question what you're doing. How can you make it better? Maybe I can replace my technology. Maybe I can refinance my mortgage. Maybe I could look for a line of credit, just what if? A home equity line of credit costs nothing to have. There are so many different things that you can do that people just aren't even aware of. They have no care in the world to even address. So my point to you is you need somebody who does this on a daily basis that can review your situation and add that value to you. That could see, hey, you're not taking advantage of a free 401k match at work. Hey, you're not maxing it out. Hey, you know you can put money in Roth. Oh, you make too much? There's backdoor ways that you could do that too. You're not taking advantage of a deferred comp plan. You're not taking advantage of a free trust services through your employer. Whatever the case is, there are so many ways to enhance your situation. I just see people not doing it, which is why we're offering a free financial assessment where we'll give you one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time to help answer these questions that you may have. Folks, we'll give you one to two hours, one to two meetings. It doesn't matter where you're located. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, where we can answer these questions for you and point you in that right direction. Because going back to the business owner, they have so many more variables where their life is not as stable as yours. And with that, they get rewarded. They go through some hard times. Talk to any successful business owner it's rare they just started doing good on day one and it kept going up into perfection. And you're looking at their life saying, wow, that's great. Normally, they, sh they always have that iceberg analogy. You only see the top of the iceberg. 90% of it is all the garbage that you get through to see what you see today. So as we're going through this, a business owner, especially once they start to become successful, they have to start thinking when they have that money put aside, when they have been saving, when they do have those what-up scenarios covered, when they do have line of credit, when they are, I don't want to say commingling personal and business, but when they do have that line of credit on the personal side, line of credit on the business side, if liquid brokerage assets, whether it's on the business or on the uh, personal side, because you're a business owner, it's kind of one of the same, right? If it's an S-corp, it's passed through income. Make a million bucks or a hundred thousand bucks, you're paying tax on the personal side. So who cares if you take a distribution and invest it? It doesn't matter. Take it out. So my I comment to you is, once you get to that point where now you could start to diversify, that's where you have to take a look at your situation. If you're a business owner, does it make sense to maybe do residential, commercial, or maybe self-rent? Maybe you need, if you're paying rent somewhere else for $5,000, maybe you buy a location for yourself. Now you can self-rent. Now you have depreciation. Now you have principal buy-down. Now you can take advantage of loan and leverage. These are things that people don't normally do for their business, but they do for real estate all the time. Now you pay yourself rent. You have your own corporation, you create a new LLC, and your corporation pays the LLC, which is you to you, pays yourself income. And oh, by the way, it drops the income of the corporation down, which means you pay less taxes. And oh, by the way, on the receiving end of that, through depreciation and a mortgage and so on, you're probably not paying taxes on the other corporation side, the LLC. There are so many different ways people could be taking advantage of their situation, and they're just not. That's on the business side. The entrepreneur, when you're ready to diversify. This is why we've been blessed where we're getting thousands of people reaching out to us on a monthly basis. And I want you to be one of them because we have the volume, we have the knowledge, we have the experience to answer those questions that you have. This is why experience matters. And we help not just the business owner, even though I'm sure I've showed and shared that we are more than capable of doing so, but we help you. There are so many different things that I rattled off earlier that can enhance your situation that you just don't even know about. Heck, it could be moving to a different spot. It could be getting solar. It could be getting a hybrid or electric car. There are so many things that you don't even know about. There is, depending on where you live, you can literally get it at no cost. People just are not aware of things like this. 
This is why we're offering a free financial assessment where we're given one to two meetings, one to two hours of our time, folks, at no cost. Give us a call. Be happy to help. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird, where we can help answer these questions that you have to help you, which is our goal, which is the reason I started this company. I knew from the places I worked in the past, they weren't doing enough for their clients. And I get it. Profits over people. I get it. My whole point is, when is too much profits, like you're jeopardizing the relationship or the individual where you're hurting them, right? I get it. McDonald's wants to keep their burger costs low, but if they go so low quality on their burgers where it literally starts to get people extremely sick, it will put them out of business if they don't just pay a little bit more for a higher quality beef. That's the same logic here. We're not looking for 50% margin here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Hell, we're not even looking for 30%. The idea is how can we enhance and have that fine balance because I'm the sole owner of a company, because we're also associate driven, we know by getting the highest quality individuals that work here will help in your overall situation. We would love to help folks. Man, Fast, fast show. I want to thank you for tuning in with us this weekend. You can always reach myself or any one of my colleagues here at Falcon Wealth Planning. Our phone number is 855-963-2526. That's 855-96-FALCON, like the bird. Or visit our website at falconwealthplanning.com. That's falconwp.com for short. And you can send us a message at radio at falconwp.com to get on our Knowledge Center. And our website has our Knowledge Center links right there. Just click onto the Knowledge Center. Sure, you can put an inquiry there if you want to reach out to us for any questions or help. But that redirects you to YouTube. And hey, we just have so many great videos that can help you out. And if you missed this episode or any one of our previous episodes, you can reach, uh, find it on podcast, Spotify, and so on. We can help you out. Folks, the question and focus and topic today was based on you. Your response that you wanted to hear. You want to talk entrepreneurs. I went on my route about uh, rant about entrepreneurs earlier, and now it's about ways we can help you. So reach out to anything you need. Be happy to help, folks. I want you to have a fantastic weekend. Have a great week, and God bless.